So it's becoming easier and easier to build a Mac uh, nowadays, or AKA a Hackintosh. I've been using a Hackintosh for about, I'd say two years now. You know, as many videos as you see where people create them and they say, oh yeah, this Mac is working great. Uh, this is so much cheaper than actually buying a Mac Pro. You'll find that once you've actually built one, there's always upkeep and maintenance. It's kind of like buying a used car. Uh, you always will have problems after updates, whether it be with iMessage not syncing, AirDrop not working, uh, uh, you know, uh, just graphics being crazy, and kind of the list goes on and on. Now, don't get me wrong, you will get the core functionality of a Mac. You'll get to see Mac OS. Uh, you know, I would recommend, a, you know, building a Hackintosh if you're a Windows user and you have an Intel processor and, you know, you're kind of kind of getting bored of the whole Windows scenario and the Windows viruses and the adware and the performance and just the entire Windows Microsoft ecosystem. And you want to kind of dabble with the idea of a Mac at that point. Yeah, right on. Go on, go for it. Uh, you know, convert your partition your drive and see if you can do it because it is it is challenging as easy as it is and as much streamlined as the process has become uh, with Tony Mac uh, x86.com they have great tutorials and using all of their tools and little kind of apps they make it pretty easy where as long as you're following instructions you can do it now once you get it set up that'll be a good way to see hey do I like this enough to actually buy a Mac? Uh, to use the Hackintosh as a primary machine, you can do it, but you really, really have to uh, be experienced in uh, command line, know the operating system in and out in order to get the optimal experience. So, you know, you're not gonna have the full experience of a Mac, but at least you'll get, get a taste of it. So in that sense, I think it's worth trying to do a Hackintosh. And also just to kind of, you know, explore the tech and kind of get a good understanding of how uh, kernels work, how network preferences work, uh, how the file system works, and just in general, uh, get a grand overview of, you know, the Mac OS operating system and what it's capable of. And then once you get a real Mac, you'll be that much better at it. So I do encourage you to do it, uh, try it, try it out, uh, get a feel for how Mac OS works, play around with it. Uh, you know, if, what's the harm in it? There, you know, you're only benefiting yourself and expanding your knowledge of how computers and Macs work. So that's just my bit on the whole Hackintosh kind of world. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.